Hello reformers and welcome back to Shadow of Mordor. Now when we left off we were still doing a little bit of war chief branding and thankfully we have completed that task. Now as you can see on the map right here there are no other things for me to do, no other main missions that are being required to you know have completion and so I'm at the last one and we're going to be doing it. Now this one is not particularly a favorite of mine. I think it's to do with the hunting sort of mini game thing. I'm not a big fan of that, but maybe it will be a something a little bit different. This dwarf claims to know the location of more artifacts from Celebrimbor's past. Shouldn't see me. Shouldn't hear me. It's a clean kill. It's going to go to waste. It's your name, Ranger. Italian. What were you? A lieutenant? No, actually, I, I was a captain. Oh, my mistake. We have a captain in our midst. Well, better look sharp, eh? Captain's coming. Better sharpen the swords, eh? And, Make sure our boots are nice and shiny. <laughs> oh, so tell me, Captain, have you ever hunted a Graug? A Graug has what you promised me. Aye. Not just any Graug. The largest one I ever came across. do just fine. I've been trained very well. My dog, Silver, was trained very well. That was before she got eaten by a warg. Hunt! It's not about rules, my captain. We're not going to line up and have someone play with our lives. It's about instinct, and it's about guts. Which... As you can see, I know a thing or two about. <laughs> you want basics on the hunt. Follow me. The hunt is its own beast, one you must learn to tame. First lesson of Karagor hunting, do not die. What do we need them for? We ride them. A worthy mount for a dangerous hunt. Now, these beasts will not be impressed by your rank. All flesh tastes the same to them. Once you go on the hunt, Captain, you'll come out a changed man. Hopefully for the better, but you never know. When I was hunting wargs, I picked up their ways quickly. But Cargors, well, those bastards are a tougher breed. Took me nearly a year to figure them out. Cargors. Buggers hate water. I once tried to ride one through a river, and she hightailed it up a cliffside with me on its back. Amazing what they'll do to avoid a good cleaning, eh? The hunt is my mistress. Beautiful, thrilling, infectious. And she doesn't nag, like my wife. Oh, you haven't lived until you've been on the hunt, Captain. The very air smells different, like triumph. Ranger, over here! That one over there looks quite aggressive. Don't even try creeping up on a Karagor. It'll catch your scent a mile away. What do you propose then? When you hop in and introduce yourself, ask it for a ride. Ah, here we go. You've gained the ability to counter a Karagor's leap attack, which will also stun the beast. Right. Okay, I'm a bit worried about this, to be honest. When a Karagor charges, you have two options. Knock the bastard down, or eat dirt. Don't flinch, Ranger! Stand your ground! Mount a Karagor on your first try. 
Took a few scars to perfect my method. That's about the same time it took me to tame one. You might be a natural, Captain. You didn't fare too bad back there. Where'd you get your training, Captain? I hail from the Black Gate. The Black Gate. Nice place. Sounds depressing. <laughs> let's find some Uruks. Now that you tame the beast, let's see if it'll fight for you. Cutting orbs! Great way to unwind! But I can take down more than you, Ranger! This beast can be used for good. You've been hunting and learning for long, Dwarf. For years and years. Land used to be more lush. Now a doom slowly sweeps over it. Like much of Mordor. Yes. Though the doom does add a spice to the hunt. Sure, you can ride a carrot, but can you shoot from one? You'll have to steal before I... You take him up high! Leave the ground dogs to me! Well, that should be easy enough, but unfortunately my Karagor is almost dead. So that is a bit of a worry, to be honest. Untasted wells. He stooped and looked at Miromir and saw a crown of stars appear. Kill the Catacomb! Behold the shadows of his head! The fire better not set my beard to light. That's a dragon burst! <laughs> Down. Let's take on a fresh batch. We'll find another camp. Put you to a final test. Fight him however you like. Oh, running short on lessons? Running long on lip? You'll need to think on your feet. When we face the Grog, can't always look to me for help. The hunt is about discipline. Training yourself to see the perfect moment, rather than being told it. I once tracked a great eagle back to her nest. I decided to let them be, even before they tossed me to the rocks below. More hunting party! Let's hunt them by the Points. There's something wrong with your blade. You're 
Last one! Stop him before he gets reinforcements! Torgan is too quiet. Something must be wrong. Go to him, Talion. Perhaps we should track the hunter. Ah, where has he gone? This is interesting. I don't know why he would decide to leave us. You'll make a nice meal, dwarf! Torvin needs help. Hunter makes a perfect killing me. That's the thrill of the hunt. Just so you know, I had him. What does riding Karagors have to do with killing Grogs? All these questions, Captain. Not you were supposed to follow orders. You are testing my patience, Torvin. Pay attention. Learn to respect the beast. You don't need size and strength to fight the mighty Grog. Remember, hunt. Respect is earned. Who knows? He will even call you sir. <laughs> This dwarf is far from home. Not all those who wander are lost. Ah, some wonderful advice and indeed words of wisdom from Celebrimbor right there. I mean, he has many of them, <laughs> doesn't he? Anyway, we now have another quest here with Torvin. I do not believe we can, yes, I do not believe we can advance the other main story to do with the war chiefs and things until we have completed this. Which is a bit of a failing in my opinion. I, I'm not a big fan of the whole hunting thing. I'm not a big fan of the whole riding Karagors thing either. I'm, I actually personally do not like it at all. I'm very, very bad at it. So that might be partially the reason why. But yeah, it's usually quite irritating to me to have to deal with these guys. But, well, you know, it, it, it's, it's nice to have a little bit of variety in the game after all. And I suppose that that's the main reason for it anyway, so... Not a not a big deal. Ah, there we go. Seems he was dead. All right. Well, never mind. Let's start the next one. Torvin has more to teach you about hunting beasts before you face the great white Graug. Off by my wee scars. Oh, not at all. I actually have a few of my own. <laughs> oh, I'll bet. What type of battle scars did you get from the Black Gate, eh? Splinters! <laughs> oh, or did you uh, scar your voice telling your soldiers to head into battle? Tread lightly. My scars run very deep. Huh. The mighty Grog. You give me these. And he also took my hunting partner. So, what now? Well, another lesson for you, my captain. <clears throat> Maybe you'll even come out of this one on Scar. <laughs> So, what backward lesson do you have planned this time, eh? Shooting Crabane to prepare us for the mighty Grog? You want to hunt Grog? Then so you shall. But not just any Grog. This is a rare one. It's territorial. Strong enough to claim land as its own. And you and me, we're trespassing. Tell me, Captain, you ever slay a Grog before? Today will be the first of many. Now you're talking like a hunter. I've got a feeling in my gut you may survive this, Captain. Well, since that's the largest part of you, I like those odds. So I assume you have a plan to kill this Grog? I do, Captain. And since you're so good at taking orders, I'll tell you how, step by step. Step one, when he's crunching on an Uruk, sneak up behind the giant beast and bleed the bastard's ankle. But why not his throat? There is one place Graugs aren't covered in spiky scales. They don't call a weakness a Graugs heel for nothing! You want me to sidle up to this beast? 
If you can manage it without being crushed, yes! There it goes! What a fine, fine specimen! And it'll meet a fine end. Aha, uh -huh. oh my. Okay, so we now have to sneak up and bleed it. Bleeding the Graug will cause massive damage and attract Karagors. to pierce its ankle if I want to bleed it. Step two, Captain. The blood will attract Karagors. Jump on one before she jumps on you. Your speed will now match the Graugs. Get her to chase you. I'll be waiting. That will be quite a ride. Ooh, mounting a Karagor. This is not going to be easy. Sounds easy enough. Right, our cabin. Hey, you! I've slain bigger grouks when I was a wee boy and my beard was only three inches long. Step three. Shoot it in the head. I'm following your orders! Well, that's your problem! Think for yourself! You've gained the ability to mount a stunned Graug. Approach a stunned Graug. Approach. That's what I just said. Yes, you heard it here first. You can also press RB to mount a stunned Graug from above. This should be a lot of fun. Graugs can attack enemies in an area that can also grab and eat Uruks to regain health. with the sting of my blade. Instinct, gumption, respect. <laughs> Training's over. Got guts. Let's go spill some, eh? The 
darkness of Mordor doesn't seem to touch that dwarf. The Seven Rings of Power did not turn the Dwarf Kings to wraiths, as the Nine Rings did to man. They are a stubborn as stone and cannot be dominated by evil. That is why Sauron has sworn to destroy them. Oh, interesting. I don't think I actually knew that. Very nice. Oh, well, never mind. All right, we are going to be ending this episode of here, and next time we're going to be facing the Great White Graug. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.